Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Mike's World. Today we're going to be reviewing the iSteady gimbal for a GoPro. And these have been out a little bit, a little while, but I was able to get one and I've used it a little bit and I'm just going to show you what comes with it. Rather you should buy it or not, the pros and the cons, and um, is it worth the money? You know, it only runs not about 90 bucks. So uh, let's take a look at what it has, uh, show you how you mount it, things like that. And then I'll show you some footage that I shot um, when we went to the gathering place in Tulsa uh, with my kids and stuff. I'll show you all that footage and then I'll give you what I, what I think of it here at the end. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice, it does come with this nice case, uh, but let's just open this up. But that, it is nice that it comes with a case to protect, you know, everything right there. Um, one of the things you'll notice, it does come with a little stand that pops out that screws in the bottom. So you can actually set that on the table. Uh, we'll look at that in a second. Um, this is actually an extra cable uh, that I used to charge it with, um, micro USB. It comes with one, it was a little short. I wanted a bigger one uh, just to have a little bit more room. And it also comes with these little adapters. I'll show you what those are about. It comes with, uh, or these are so you can power the GoPro from the built-in battery bank within, within the gimbal. So, and you'll see that I've already got the one attached for uh, that I need to use with the GoPro. Um, there's an adapter here on the side, a little screw where you can put on this uh, mount for to hold your phone. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then it has some basic controls, you know, power switch, move it, things like that. And so we're going to put the GoPro in it and we're going to uh, talk about what it does, what it doesn't do, and uh, if I like it or not. So let's go ahead and start talking about, let's put the GoPro Hero 5 in this and get started. So mounting your GoPro into the iSteady gimbal is pretty simple. Um, but with the GoPro Hero 5, there is a, an issue with, with this. When you mount this inside of the gimbal, slide it here. What you do is you slide it in you have to loosen up these screws on the bottom, but you just slide it in like that, get it pretty, pretty even. And then you just, once it's in place and this, these are straight, you just tighten down these screws. Pretty simple. Get it in there really tight. And then you have right here, you can turn Wi-Fi on. This is a little adapter, which then you can plug into the side of your GoPro, basically for AC power. Because if you know anything about a GoPro, the batteries on these things, these internal batteries are terrible. And this iSteady actually acts as a power bank. Um, it lasts pretty long actually on a full charge. Now it does take a while to charge it, but there's the GoPro in there. Um, you can pop this side door off. I've noticed when I used it, this will come off. So, um, and then you might lose it. So I've pulled this off before, put it in my pocket. For now, I'm not gonna do that. And it looks like you're ready to go. And you know, it looks like everything's all hunky-dory, but guess what? It's not because here is the big problem. Right now, this GoPro is turned off and to power it on, the button is on the side buried behind this gimbal right here. So, the other thing too is this switch down here, it'll power the gimbal on and off, but it won't power the GoPro. When you connect this GoPro to this gimbal, pretty much the only thing you're controlling with that Wi-Fi connection is start and stop record. So when the camera's off and you have Wi-Fi, it will actually drain the battery of the GoPro, which also I guess would drain the battery here. So I prefer not to use connect the camera to this via Wi-Fi. Um, I just, I don't, I don't think it's useful um, just to start and stop. You can easily reach up here and just hit start and stop. But to power it on, I do have to loosen this. And these screws aren't the easiest thing to turn. Slide this out, turn it on. And 
tighten these back up. So if you're somebody like me who you go out and you shoot something and you intermittently use this, um, and there I just, there we go. You intermittently use this, you know, you don't want to leave it on all the time. So powering it on and off is really a pain. So, um, but anyway, it's, it's mounted and, uh, pre and pretty much after that, all you do is just, you turn it on. We'll do that here in a second. I'll show you. You turn it on and it does its thing. All right, so once we have the GoPro mounted, connected, and all turned on, you can see that the gimbal, you know, it's pretty steady initially. It has a nice little stand here if you need to. I'm gonna touch this, get the screen back on. Let's just show you a little bit. Uh, so you have the nice little rocker that goes left and right, up and down. If you double tap on the trigger, it resets it to center. So let's get it off center and it'll recenter it. So the other thing you'll notice down here, if you look, uh, if you look at the top right corner of the screen, you'll see the looks like AC power. And that is because it's actually running off of the power bank within the gimbal. And so it's powering the GoPro and it'll actually charge the GoPro as it's uh, running. So, uh, and if the GoPro is turned off, but the gimbal is on, it will also charge it. So show you some shots right here, just holding it. So not bad. Like I said, um, I don't like using the Wi-Fi. Uh, it's kind of useless. All it does is trigger the start and stop record. Um, but if you got two hands, which I don't right now because I'm holding the other camera, you can just hit that button on top um, right there to hit record and then just do your thing. Uh, I just, I don't see a value in it. If, if you were connected like the app and you were able to power the GoPro on and off so that you wouldn't have to take it out of this mount to be able to turn it on and off, if you were able to do that, then I, th I would definitely use it, but that's not the case. Now, keep in mind, I have a GoPro Hero 5. I have not gone above Hero 5. And the reason I have done that is because the Hero 5 was the last GoPro that offered built-in HDMI output without having to buy a separate media mod or something like that. So um, I refuse to buy a newer GoPro than the 5 because of that. Um, I use it a lot as a, as a mounted camera. I use that HDMI out a lot, and I just think when you're paying five hundred dollars, four hundred dollars for a camera like this, I mean, the least they can do is put wife or put the HDMI output in it. So um, I, it's kind of like my little protest of GoPro uh, for doing that with their newer cameras. But um, here on the handle of the iSteady, you have four different modes. You have actually, if you're connected, this is supposed to be uh, like zooming in. Uh, then your mode button, and that is to start, stop, record, which uh, I'm not doing that. So uh, anyway, so that's a quick run through of the iSteady. So here's some footage I shot of my kids using this at the gathering place in Tulsa. Look at that. Whoa. Look at this. Carter.
job, Carter. What you doing, Granny? Well, it's too late now. <laughs> Go, buddy. You got it, Grant. You got it. Keep going. Good job. Just walk normal. You can do it. Walk normal. No. And take him. Go with him. There we go. Go, Granny. Good job, buddy. Go, Grant. You got it. Hold on. Where's Carter? So overall, my reaction to this gimbal is if you have an older GoPro uh, and you like to walk around and use a GoPro, get the gimbal. It's worth it. If you have a newer GoPro, the stabilization on those are pretty good uh, to the point I don't think you would need one of these. Also, you know, the powering on and off is kind of annoying the way it works, uh, but it's only 80 bucks 80 or 90 bucks, um, and I think it's worth that. Um, if you are somebody who has, you want to spend more money and or, or you have the DJI Pocket uh, pocket two or pocket you're not going to want this um, but if you've already got the GoPro and you want nice steady video on a budget this is a great gimbal and it works really well uh, for for what it's worth I mean you, there are more expensive gimbals out there that can do more than this one so um, you be the judge uh, ultimately you know I'll use it from time to time um, I like it better than mounting my phone in a gimbal so um, yeah Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that like button and always uh, leave your comments. Love to know what you think, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.